It's here! It's finally here! I'm your man out of Japan, Jay Contra, and I've made my first ever order from sunugaya.com. And in this video, I'm going to go through my experience with the website compared to other ways to buy Japanese retro games online and open up the box. Longtime viewers of my channel will know that Sudogaya is one of the largest retailers of not only Japanese video games, but just Japanese cultural merchandise in general. And their online store is kind of an enigma to me because having lived in Japan for eight or so years, I had experienced their brick and mortar stores which got the nation of Japan there pretty much everywhere, and they have a wide variety. But then when you go online, you can see their true offerings. And in the compliment sandwich that I'm going to give their website, they have what I will say is probably the most impressive selection of not just retro games, but just Japanese games in general, both old and new, I would say even more so than say Mandarake, and you will definitely find more on Sudugaya than you will on eBay, which I think is going to be uh, what people most commonly use to purchase Japanese retro video games online. Speaking of negatives, uh, let's talk about the middle of that compliment sandwich. I will say that the website for Sudugaya.com which is, diff which is different, it's a whole different layout and I think a different database than Sudogaya Japan. Sudogaya.com has a lot of machine translation. For a lot of popular games, they will have the name spelled out for a game. The title will be localized. You'll have, for example, A Link to the Past. But then when you try and search for, say, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, you're not going to find it because the machine translated it badly. And I guess whoever's manually translating that stuff hadn't got to Majora's Mask yet. And don't even try searching for a Castlevania game because it is just going to be way too ridiculous for you to find. Now, a way around that is to go to Wikipedia and find the Japanese name for the game that you're searching and you'll... Find it without issue, at least in my experience. But if you're searching for stuff in English, you might want to be very careful, especially for the more obscure titles that are out there. Going back to the positives, I will say that at least in my experience, this order was both processed and shipped very, very quickly. It was about, I want to say, five or six days between clicking the order button and getting this package. Now, that's also because I had to pay for the expensive shipping because at least at the time of recording this, the expensive DHL shipping is the only option that you have when you're ordering from Sudugaya. This box here, I wanna say it's about seven or eight games. Shipping and handling cost me about $35. And the last kind of specific point that I wanna make about Sudugaya's website itself is that it just is a bit slow. I don't know why, but every time I tried to, to browse through uh, sudogaya.com, I always felt like, man, this is kind of taking too long. Maybe I'll just go over uh, to go check out a quick VTuber clip before going back to see uh, what retro games are on there. It's a bit slow. It's slower than I think any other website that I've been to to purchase Japanese retro games from Japan. So just keep that in mind. It's annoying, but it's definitely not game breaking. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's look at the box. Oh, I think I, or I opened it upside down because I didn't want my address to show on the video. Uh, so this is, do not, this is not indicative of how Sudogaya packs things. Um, this is flipped upside down. Oh no, oh, is this everything? Yeah, okay, this looks like everything. Oh, great. So I will say that I have heard uh, through some very good sources that when you order a box from Sudogaya, you will not always get everything in that order. So if there is an inventory discrepancy, they will very often just ship you your order, you know, subtract uh, whatever item and its value from the overall bill, but just be advised that you might not necessarily get everything that you ordered. So I'm gonna open this up. It just seems very small. I thought I had ordered before. So looking at here, I picked up Pokemon White 2, I am on a kick of playing Japanese Pokemon games, and I've got to say, really impressed by the condition of this. 
Let's take a quick look at the manual and the cartridge. Wow, the cartridge is actually flawless. I hope I've, I've got the 4K on the camera. I hope you can see this, but wow, you, I mean, you know, even DS games can get really beat up in Japan. That looks fantastic. Really impressed by that. This is a copy of Diamond. They shipped it in this little CD jewel case in here. Looking at the cartridge itself, okay, not as great as the white two, but hey, look, this was like $10. When you think about how cheap Japanese Pokemon games are, getting Diamond for $10 is amazing. Really glad that I have it. Let's move on to the next one. Oh yes, Majora's Mask 3D. The greatest game of all time. Well, I'm just saying Majora's Mask in general. Here is the Nintendo 3DS version. Looking on the outside of it, eh, it's okay. I'd say this is a B. This is a B grade to me, uh, but this is definitely, I mean, probably better than 90% of the Majora's Mask that, you, than you'll, that you'll find in the United States. The cartridge loads perfectly fine. Looks great. No scratches on it. That's what I really like about the sort of the DS and the 3DS era. Um, the cartridges are usually in really tip top shape. What a surprise, no way. Hold on, let me look at this real quick. This is a sealed Pokemon Ultra Moon. I ordered what I thought was a used copy and it certainly was priced used, but you know, sometimes Japanese shops will, will um, shrink wrap their retro games or their used games, but you can obviously tell that it was, you know, it's not factory shrink wrap, but look at those seals. Here's a copy of Ultra Sun, of Ultra Moon, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna be opening this up to play it, but you know, I have heard stories about people ordering what they think are used games from Sudugaya, and then in comes a, a sealed copy. What luck. So next up we have New Super Mario Brothers U, and the case looks like it's in great shape. I mean, I'm, I'm comparing this to stuff that I buy in the United States, and oh boy, do I find some uh, some CD cases that are, are, are kind of rough. They've been loved. They've been loved. And not a scratch on the disc. Here is We Party You. I will say there's a little bit of, you can tell kind of the humidity waves, but that's common in a lot of Japanese games because Japan is a very humid country. Oh, there's the Club Nintendo insert. And then we've got the We Party You disc. Wow, like flawless. Wii U collecting is so fun, especially when you're collecting Japanese stuff because everything is in amazing condition and it even comes with a little span. I got the little stand for the Wii for the Wii U tablet. How fun! And then this is the big one. This was the most expensive game that I purchased, and I think this cost like forty bucks, which is way better than it cost uh, even a year ago. It is Devil's Third for the Wii U. I had this digitally, but I just I, I really wanted a physical hard copy uh, because Devil's Third is I feel underrated in that people said it was bad. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's perfectly playable. I really hope people come to appreciate this game. Uh, not that I'm saying it's incredibly good, uh, but the the outside is, I mean, for, for a pseudo guy game, it's in pretty good shape. Let's look at the disc real quick. I love this. <laughs> this, is, this is what they thought was cool. This is what Itagaki thought was cool. But the disc, the disc surface, blammo, not even a scratch. I could, I could, I could, go for a shade using this. This is fantastic. So overall, I am really impressed by the condition of these games. I was kind of, you know, expecting maybe something to be roughed up uh, to a noticeable degree. But I mean, hats off to Sunugaya, a, a sealed copy of Ultra Moon. I mean, the box they gave me was kind of big. I would kind of hope for it. I mean, considering that the box is like, look at that. The box is, I want to say like, at least five times the size of all the games. You would kind of think that maybe they would have packed it in something smaller and that would have ended up being cheaper. Maybe they don't produce boxes that are smaller than this. So, you know, maybe they get you on the shipping. The fact is, is that when you're ordering games from eBay sellers, you're, you're probably going to end up ordering from a number of different sellers. You're not going to be able to combine shipping. I think I was looking at like a Pokemon White 2 from an eBay seller was I think going to be twice the base price. I think this cost me maybe $25 or $20 even. And I think uh, on eBay, it was going to be like $60 from an eBay seller for a used copy. And the shipping was gonna be just $20 from an eBay seller. Now you might have the option to combine it with some shipping. And maybe if you get super lucky and you find one seller, you can get all the items that you want and you can pack it together. You'll probably save a lot on shipping that way. But just being able to buy all of these games, and some of these you can't even find on eBay. Like Devil's Third, a Japanese copy, 
is not on eBay, at least the last time I checked, um, and a few other of these games are not there as well. So there are definitely some negatives to the Pseudodial website in terms of, say, your search. You're gonna have a hard time finding certain games in English. Uh, the condition on some of these games, I will say, is say, not up to the quality of, say, uh, of Mandarake. But I say that at least, you know, initially, having just taken these out of the box, compared them to the prices that I saw on Mandarake and on eBay, I am very happy with my order. I think I will be ordering from Sudogaya again. I'm your man out of Japan, Jay Contra. I've rambled way too much about Sudogaya and the games that I picked up there. I hope this video was useful for you if you'd like to know anything more about purchasing Japanese retro games or even playing them. What a strange concept, playing the games that you buy. Uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching and mahalo.